congrats on part two. This is such a satisfying conclusion. And what I really liked about this film was that you take your time. The first hour is very much about setting up the stakes and we're getting to learn more about the, the personal backgrounds of these characters. You really get more invested. So can you just speak to the pacing and not just going straight to the all out battle that, you know, obviously people were looking forward to, but uh, you got to wait a bit, but I, I thought it made it all the more fulfilling. Yeah, I mean, I guess that was my whole thing was that I really wanted to make sure that uh, we understood the why we fight of the movie and we really got a chance to um, have this catharsis with the characters so that they knew, that we, the audience, knew that even though they had accepted this sort of, um, this mission from Korra, the, the why they accepted the mission and who they were was really clear before they went into this the final fight. And I want to ask about kind of your philosophy when it comes to action sequences, because uh, like the, the best scenes aren't always the most like badass scene possible. It also like blends story and character into what they're doing. Because, you know, like, what's great for Ed's character might not be a, a great scene for Sophia's. Right. So how are they kind of trying to find that balance and tie story with the action scenes? Because I thought this film did that really well. Yeah, I, I think that for me was a really, I mean, really, the the in, in the final battle, there's so much, there's, like, numerous stories overlapping and, and all, all sort of within the sort of confines of action. So it was really a... The trick to me, the biggest trick of the of that was making sure that they all, all of them were having their sort of beginning, middles, and ends, and climaxes, and that there's sequences in the movie where uh, Titus is fighting, and he's actually having to look and see what's happening with Korra up on the dreadnought, uh, and those all have to happen sort of in, in a, you know, often when you make a movie, you can move pieces around, but these were kind of having to lock in, and so... Uh, I was really happy with uh, the way that all that was designed to kind of really seamlessly work and, um, you know, give them all their chance uh, for their, you know, incredible action set pieces to be satisfying from a, uh, a character standpoint because they were able to actually acknowledge what the others were doing and that that allowed uh, us, the audience, to have... Because a lot of times, I think with an action sequence... To have a third viewer, like someone who's who's watching the sequence in some ways and sort of being able to to ref give it its reality through the eyes of someone else, I think makes it sometimes land in a more realistic way, you know. And I really wanted to get your thoughts on this because uh, since the first film, we've seen the universe expand through stuff like the House of the Blood Axe comic and other creatives are getting to play within this world and you've obviously with comics have gotten to play within the worlds created by others so how how satisfying has it been seeing others get the work within this playground that you created it's actually really uh been it's really super fun we actually just are starting a, a nemesis comic right now um you know her backstory which i think is going to be really fun uh i think the the, the blood axe comics are in their third run because people are really enjoying them. I think that that's an incredible uh, and cool uh, venue. We have two making of books that are just the best making of books I've ever been around. We have the portrait book that I made. Uh, so there's really just a ton of um, sort of ancillary material that really support the universe in a great way, as well as the director's cuts that are coming at the end of the summer that really, I think, um, are really gonna expand it uh, just beyond, beyond. And so uh, that's all like going to be super fun uh, for everyone to enjoy. And, and, I, and you know, so for me, uh, you know, just being able to have like this other material that expands the universe is so fun because, you know, even as we go forward, we're all constantly going like, oh, what's the design inspiration for this sequence? Oh, we can actually look within the material we created for that design inspo. So that's really that's really incredible. 